Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new artbook review. So today, we're going to be looking at the Skullgirls Digital Sketchbook. Um, so Skullgirls. Uh, I actually supported this uh, back in the day, when, uh, when, it, when it was first, you know, starting up its uh, Kickstarter. I actually supported this, like, way, way back in the day. Um, and it's, you know, suffice to say, Skullgirls is uh, one of the most successful Kickstarter games out there. Um, it had a very simple premise, right, you know, uh, cute girls fighting, right, and they're, they're drawn scantily clad, right, with very nice designs. You know, each girl, I think, uh, really, really stands out, and, you know, now they have, um, they've had expansions added extra characters um, and the uh, and the game is just done really well and I'm really happy for them because you know being working from a small studio is not easy right making a whole game by your, by you know by an independent method is uh, is not easy so uh, mad respect to them um, uh, I, I was a big fan of Skullgirls uh, I played it for a while I think I had like a PS3 code I can't remember, um, but I, I, I have the game, you know, and I played it for a while. Uh, I haven't played it for a long time, so uh, if, if my memory of each character is not very good, you know, that's because that's the reason, right? But um, I enjoyed the series, and I uh, definitely want to take a look, you know. If you guys haven't checked out this game, you should really, really check it out. It's like 10 bucks on Steam now, so... Uh, I don't know if it goes on sale, but it's uh, it's dirt cheap, man. You know, and I think you get a pretty good package for what you're getting. All right. <clears throat> so with all that said, uh, let's jump in. Here we go. Oh look, so you can see how they uh, they changed the logo, right? This used to be the uh, old logo. Right. Um. So so what? From what I'm getting, so I, I I read this little thing right here, and it basically says that this was. Uh, the sketchbook that uh, they would give uh, to publishers, you know, that should try to get their work going. Um, I don't know if that went through, right? But uh, yeah, this is just like a little, a little sketchbook uh, made in college, uh, showing, showing off Skullgirls, the world of Skullgirls, and like the the person's idea, right? Look at that. Philia Peacock. Miss Fortune, oh look, dude, Miss Fortune looks way different. Parasol, Pain Wheel, Squiggly. Uh, I don't remember this character. Yeah, and Cerebella. Yep, you got the titular characters. Look at that. Uh, I remember, was, was Squiggly like a, a DLC character? I can't remember, or like... Was it added later? Huh. But yeah, this is some good work right here. This is uh, some very fine artwork right here. You know, you get a nice little panty shot right there. You know, you get Squiggly doing some dynamic moves. The background is like, ooh, ooh, you know, very dynamic. Very nice. Oh, I'm guessing these are like concepts for some of her moves, right? Look at that. Nice little scissor. Oh, dude, that's cool. Like, she's holding onto the scissor. Boop. It's like a whip in this one. Oh, dude, this move was definitely used. Yeah. I remember some of these moves. Oh, dude, look at that, dude. Sexy, dude. Very cute. Very nice. And then you have a... Oh, I guess this is like her, her crouching uh, wake up or uh, back attack. Look at that. Uh, the artwork for this game has always been really, really good. Uh, I really like the character designs. Um, they feel fresh and inspired, right? Peacock is that. I don't, I've never understood why she has the eight ball, like, like for her little bomb uh, buddy, I guess. 
Yeah, here we go. We got some more sketches for some of the moves. Look at that. Slide kick. She's got the uh, the Elmer Fudd shotgun right here. Yeah, we have like a little little uh, chicken guy springing out with machine gun. Yeah, the uh, peacock is clearly a uh, a reference to uh, those old uh, what is it called? Uh, rubber hose animations, right? Like Steamboat Willie, you know the stuff that came out of Disney like really, really early on, um, and it's it just. Uh, it just really seems really nice for a character design. I just don't really understand, like, uh, I wish they gave her more of those, like, uh, rubber hose, I guess they're, they are kind of like rubber hose arms, um, but they, they have, like, the eyes. I, that's, it's still cool, yeah. It still kind of gives the effect. Here we go. Parasol, right? The Femme Fatale, dude. She always give me like a, like a Nazi spy kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh baby, hello. Look at that. Oh, she's she's sexy, dude. Yeah, I like these moves right here, like the umbrella thing right here. Uh, what is this going? Like, is she shooting the umbrella thing and then like it becomes like a little. Like napalm spray. That's kind of cool. Yeah, see? There you go. Oh, dude. This is bro. Oh, damn. Damn, dude. These are sexy, dude. Look at that, dude. Sexy. The Canopy Kingdom. Yeah. For some reason. I saw the J right here, and I thought of the the Jimquisition logo. I'm like, oh dude, this is the Jimquisition army, dude. This feels so like Tomb Raider, and I love it. I don't know. I just love the uh, the uh, tank top, shorts, and like uh, what do you call it? Cargo cargo boots design. Yeah. Man, these must be really early on. Look at that. Very nice. We got Miss Fortune, right? She looks way different. Way different. I guess because she has colored hair. And that the, her hair shape is way different. I, I like the fact that they cut it off. Made her... Look at that. This is nice. I like these. Uh, Miss Fortune, she's my favorite character in the series. Love playing her. Love uh, her, like, the idea of her being all stitched up and shit, you know? She could roll her head around, um, and she could, like, you know, almost, like, break her legs and shit and, like, weird shit, you know what I mean? Weird directions, like, stinging out. Look at that. Popping her head off. Yeah. Yeah, she's always, uh, stood out to me as a really, really good character design. You see more right here. Oh, it's her being raised by the, 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 the fish gangsters, like, oh, like this guy, dude. I love this guy, dude, and the, the shark. I, I like, the, I like that she hangs out with, like, the, the fish people, because, you, you know, you'd think they, uh, they eat her. And that little fortune right here, that's very, that's adorable. Pain wheel. Yeah. She reminds me of something, I don't know what. I guess it's like the pinwheel enemies from Dark Souls, but it, I, I feel like it's something else. I don't, I'm not sure. What's going on right here? Oh, okay, she's like leaning down and like she's spinning on him. Uh, not punch, kick. Okay. So she's doing like a twirl kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing off some, some moves right here. That's very nice.
Yeah, this girl uses her legs a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, she has like the spike attack. Um, is this her fighting Squiggly? What's going on here? I'm trying to... Okay, hold on. So, legs here. So I'm guessing... Oh, okay, okay. So this is this is Pain Wheel right here. And then this is Squiggly right here. She's she's blocking attack. The uh, the, the knife uh, or the uh, the prong is going through her uh, wrist bones, right? Squiggly. Oh, dude, I love Squiggly. Her design, really, really good. Really, really cute, man. Really, really nice. And she got some some big old hips, like boom, bam. Look at that. I like her uh, asymmetric design. It's very nice. Like, she's part bone and shit. I just like, uh... I don't know. I just like skull stuff, right? Like, skull girls, right? Um, and I just like... Uh, you know, I've always been a big fan of Dia de los Muertos designs, right? So... Anything skeleton is always nice for me. And her being, like, zombie, half-skeleton, you know? She's got her little dragon friend. Or, like, bone dragon thing, serpent, I don't know. Uh, it's really nice. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, and she just beat someone, and it is, I think, Philia, I believe. Umbrella. Yeah, I don't really remember her that much. Yeah, but she's got some, like, this is, this is some very, like, um... Love crafty and design, right? Look at that. Like it's each one's got this weird fucking monster thing. It's it's nice. It's a it seems more original. You know what I mean? Look at that. Uh, it's got like a big old bleh tongue, right? It's like some Cthulhu monster. Look at those lips, dude. Those luscious lips. You know, she's doing some some hentai action, right? Very nice. Eats them up, spits them out. Very nice. It's got a kissy move. Oh, that's nice. Very cute. Oh, Cerebello. See, all, uh, what I like about these designs is that they're all very distinct. They have a nice silhouette and um, they're easily recognizable. Very iconic designs. And they're they're simple, right? The Cerebella. Uh, at first, uh, Cerebella was uh, my favorite, dude. Uh, and I could give you two big reasons why. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. I like that they, you know, like that these girls get like... They have like their... Like themselves, and then they have like a, like a monster teammate, right? I think that's a, a theme that's uh, really pushed in this game. Yeah, dude. Getting slapped on, dude. Yeah. I've always loved the idea of, uh, like, a, a gymnast character. And she gets to do all these, like, crazy moves while she has, like, her partner, you know, going ham, dude. Just, just really cool. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Very nice design. Look at that. Look how cute she is. Diamond drop. Yeah, see, like, it's very simple. Uh, you know, scantily clad girls, you know, being sexy and fighting and good gameplay. Uh, it's very simple, and as a result, it just it just comes through really well. And they don't. I feel like the game knows what it is, so it's not trying to, um, you know, do anything crazy. But it just does what it does really well, you know. All right, now we're getting some uh, background concepts, right? Like little little areas where you're gonna fight in the stage. Here we go. I wonder if these were... Are these done all in black and white? Because, uh... 
It feels like, you know, like, like the illustrations feel like they uh, were probably in color, right? Maybe not, though. Yeah. I'm someone who... I don't, I don't start in black and white. I, uh, I tend to... You know, I have the line drawing, and then I'll, I'll start putting in color immediately. I don't like to do these uh, black and whites. Only, only for, like, thumbnails, just to get, like, lighting. Uh, the way I want it. With this. I like this one a lot. Like this weird, like, 88, like, you know, and like these kind of old, uh, like, retro style circle TVs. There you go. Squiggly stage. River King. Uh, who is this? Who are these characters? Is this Philia? Who is that? I don't know. A teacher character? I'm not sure. Maybe this is like background stuff. That's obviously, uh, Parasol. Maybe this is like Parasol's like... No, 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 this is Philia. I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, is this like the nurse? Mm. This is really, or, I don't know. This is just some backstory stuff, I guess. But yeah, I really like this character. I can't remember her name, though. We'll probably see it. Yeah, 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 okay. So this is, th these are just like, uh, stills for, for possible cutscenes. Yeah, she getting, she getting sliced up a bit. Oh, and then I- Oh! You see why this thing became popular, man? You see why things uh, worked out for this artist, dude? Is there- is there- is there- is there much left to say? Exactly. Bro, is she like straight up being like stabbed in the head right now? Oh, is she dead? These are like really, really early designs, you know, before they, they even like had an art style. Who's this girl? Maybe these are just like little side characters. Is this like someone getting like the life sucked out of them? The headless man. Yeah, these must be like really, really early concepts, you know. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, female Kakashi, dude. I love her design. Love it, love it, love it, dude. And I love her uh, tig old bitties, man. Always good. I don't know, I don't know what it is about nurses, man, that are like, you know, they're sexy, dude. Ooh, and she's squirting a bit. Very nice. Look at that. I, and I love the, like, the katana, like, bone saw. So cool. Very nice, simple, e evocative design. Yeah. And there's this character... Uh, is this a DLC character? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know if they went through. But yeah, then it has like a a violin android thing that pops up. Very nice. Oh, oh me, oh my. Yeah, maybe maybe this is why the developers are like, maybe we shouldn't pick up this game, dude. Even though uh, sexy is good, man. Is this... I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the... The principal design on this. What is that? I'm not really sure. It's like a sewing machine or something. I'm not really sure. Beowulf. The Herding. That is that just a straight-up chair? Is this like a... Like a... Wrestler kind of move? 
or wrestler kind of character. Oh yeah, um, what's his name? Encore. I love this guy, dude. I just love his like giant size. He's got like a fucking tank on his arm. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, this seems very like typical anime protagonist. What the fuck is that bird doing? I'm gonna close this. There we go. Yeah, we have. Uh, is this is her name Cleo? I can't remember. Uh, but she she actually was uh, put through, which is nice. Uh, Li Fei. Um. Yeah, I, I remember I, I voted for her, too. I voted for her and Min Mineta to be characters. Because I really like their design. Oh yeah, we got a, su a Succubus character. Very nice. Always necessary for that in a sexy game. Look at the way she's pulling that snake, dude. You know? I guess that's how uh, she should be pulling your snake, right? Oh, this is cool. Yeah, like a widow, like like a gangster, mobster. She's got one arm. I've always loved the uh, like like no face characters in in video games. Yeah, she got like a Tommy gun, grenade launcher thing. I'm not sure. Oh. Who is this? Is this Philia? No. Who is this? Is this that? Is this that uh, final boss character? I'm not sure. Oh, but she's sexy though. And she's like, you want some of this? <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, dude, I love this love crafty and like plus sexy girl design. It's just really, really. Uh, original and nice. Oh, we got a crab girl. Yeah, dude. I don't know if you wanna. I don't know if you wanna mess with her pussy, dude. It looks like it. Looks like it's gonna bite back. If you get what I'm saying. Oh yeah. So I guess this is like very early concepts for a. Uh, like illustrations, very fucking nice, dude. See, dude, this man know. See, this man knows what he's doing. All right, this man knows who he's trying to appeal to, who he's trying to get the money from. Okay, look at that, very cute. Okay, twenty twelve, man. Wow, that was a century ago, man. Fifty million years ago, dude. And uh, Lab Zero, man, they they did a good job. Uh, let's see, you know, dude, I think this is a perfect uh, ending screen. So let's uh, nope, nope, nope. I, I guess she's staying on the side. All right, <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, let us enter the review portion for this book. Um, I think uh, this is a fantastic book, man. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, a company would see this and be like, nah, man, I don't see the potential here. You know what I mean? Uh, I understand, like, yeah, the characters are, you know, sexualized, but, like, you know, who fucking gives a shit, dude? You know what I mean? Like, sexy shit is sexy shit, dude. And sexy shit sells, bro. If this game's success hasn't shown that, then I don't know what does, dude. Okay? Because uh, there's nothing wrong with some cute girls, dude, fighting it out, dude. Okay? Being a little sexy, dude. Being a little dangerous, dude. Okay? It's really nice. And I think that the game um, just really shows that there is a mass interest in that kind of stuff. Right? In this kind of content. It's not for everyone. Right? Not for everyone. But goddamn, dude. This shit's for me, man. Okay? That's all I gotta say. Um, and gamers, dude? Come on. They're gonna love this shit, bro. Okay? Guys or girls. They're gonna love this shit. I think they did a really good job. Uh, I I think they released uh, a bigger art book 
if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure because I think there's a full color art book and then you get like all the characters. But this is this was just like a little taste test for those who uh, who support the Indiegogo. Um, yeah, I, I donated way back in the day as well, like right when it was starting, and uh, I was I was I was pretty happy with the results. I think they did a really good job. You know, this is clearly a passion project, and it got the the, deten the attention it deserved. Um, and now every Skull Girl is out there, and if you see, you know, you can see them on uh, Rule Thirty Four, all that shit, dude. You know, it's everywhere. Um, the characters are big. Uh, and I'm glad, and they were able to make uh, new games too, which I'm just like I'm astounded by. You know, the success of uh, Lab Zero cannot be overstated. They did a fantastic job, and I'm very happy for them. You know. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the review uh, with that, guys. Uh, please uh, like if you liked the video, subscribed for more content. Uh, Comment down below, tell me how you guys feel about Skullgirls and its art and maybe some of the early concepts that came through. Uh, ring that bell for the notification, all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.